Okay. The Toronto Maple Leafs, if they lose, lock up 30th spot in the NHL. If and, they lost in regulation. Yes. And the, the uh, details, Chris, seriously, they're not that important here. Okay? Don't, do not ever do, let the facts get yes. in the way of Darren's story. If they lost, they, uh, they secure the 30th pick and m- make sure that they get the best odds to win the draft lottery. They're playing Philadelphia, who are in the midst of a playoff race, trying trying for their playoff lives. And the Toronto Maple Leafs go into Philadelphia and win? I can't figure out this game. Well, it says more about the Flyers probably than the Leafs in this case to me. I mean, that that's, that's a game they have to have. They absolutely have to have. And obviously, now we go into the weekend where anything's possible with them, Boston, and Detroit. Uh, and only two spots among them. And, you know, there's there's every possibility. I will not be surprised if we get to Sunday and they miss by that point that they gave up to the Leafs last night. And lost the season series to the Leafs, who gained five out of six points uh, head-to-head with the Philadelphia Flyers. You know, how, how much do you think, and, and I'm not really pointing fingers, but I, I in fact, I am. Uh, I mean, Steve Mason's been on a really good run. Steve Mason has done yeoman's work for the Flyers, particularly since the Neuvert injury. But you have to wonder, because we know he's not 100%. I mean, he's, he's playing a little, whether a lower body injury, whether it's a pulled muscle or whether there's a strain somewhere, that how much has this just taken a toll on him? Because they do have enough veteran leadership to play through. This is not an excuse of, well, they're learning how to win again and they're learning how to lose. They got guys on that team now that have been around the National Hockey League a long time. But, a couple of breakaway goals against them last night. Yeah, week. I know. No, and the, I know. And the, big, and the Flyers' big line was not good well, defensively. Came on in the third period. And they, they had we, we should, I guess shots. we should give them some credit for coming back and rallying yeah. and getting the point and they had, at least. They had 45 shots. And right. again, that may be the comeback and getting the single point actually may be the, the key the other way if they make the playoffs, right? Right. Yeah. When it was 3-1 to one and looking like maybe they're going to lose in regulation, which – would be even more damaging. But, you know, I've, I've said this. I think everyone thinks I'm nuts. But I really don't believe the Leafs have been trying to lose. And I think that that shows it in that game as well. Um, but it was the night before. Well, they didn't play well. But, I mean. Perplexing, isn't it? To you, know. the, you get drilled like that by Columbus. And then you beat Philadelphia on the road. Roster was a little different in Philly than against the Blue Jackets, though, right? Mm. I was a little busy Wednesday. I didn't see no, that. No, same roster. Same exact same group? Different goal. Except goalie. Bernier played yeah. instead of Garrett Sparks. Uh, that could be a difference, too. And it, and it was. Yeah. Bernier was brilliant. He's been brilliant for the last three weeks. Yeah. So are you comfortable going into next season with him as your number one goaltender? You were this year going into the season with him no, as your I number don't. one goaltender. They're not now, though. They're, they're not. They, they, I would, I'm still at the point with this guy where I'd be surprised – if he's back, a little surprised. I mean, there is the matter of the, that he does have a contract and, and you know, you're not dealing him if you you do try to trade him from a particular point of strength, although maybe someone's going to look at these last two months where really he has shown a lot more of what you expected from him all along here in Toronto and, and figure they're buying low on him and that they might get him at a, at a decent value. But, you know, it's, it's their intention to – to look around and, and try to improve at that position this summer. If they don't go with Bernier, who's their goalie? Well, next year, I mean, we're, st- I mean, this organization's still in rebuild next year. So, I mean, would it surprise you if it was Bebo and Sparks or one of those two kids and, and, and a, and a veteran journeyman for a while? I mean, would it, it, it cause I, I don't I mean, I don't think we're, we're, Pegging the Maple Leafs to make the playoffs next year, are we? Honestly? No. Uh, no. Okay. So, so like I, I'm a huge Antoine Bebo fan. I think uh, I, I just think he's with his size and with his athletic ability and and his style, he could be given the chance to to mature. Whether hopefully it's at the American League that he can he can be a star in the National Hockey League. He really can, and it's, which is why I think they've put Sparks here for the most part, and let Bebo play everything for the Marlies. They, they have to be a bit concerned with what they've seen from Sparks. I mean, it's his first prolonged period in the league, and he's still only 22, but he's struggled. I mean, he's, he's around an 890 save percentage right now. And, and you know, one area I think the Leafs are going to look is, is Frederick Anderson. I think that they'll be one of the teams potentially. Yeah, join you know, the club, yeah. 
Calgary obviously is interested. Carolina is an intriguing possibility because they drafted Frederick Anderson. He refused to sign there and he went back into the draft and that's how Anaheim got him originally. So it'd be kind of an interesting move if they then went and traded for him. But, you know, those are the three teams that I believe are, are most interested and, you know, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, Frederick Anderson struggled a bit of late. It looks, looks to be Gibson's net for now. And, you know, maybe it's well, a different a, type of commodity, you know, once you get to that point.